Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kate with Into Indy for those of you who are new. And today we are going to go get spray tanned with Indy Air Tan. I'm just about to walk into their downtown location, freshly showered, which is how you should be before getting a spray tan. Make sure you're properly exfoliated. Let's go check it out and I will give you all the insider scoops on how to get the best air tan. So the other two locations, Broderpool and Fishers, are in a strip mall. The downtown location is at the MDG salon. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. Okay guys, we are here at the downtown salon. I'm here with Danielle. Give you a cute little tour real quickly. We have four booths here behind the sliding doors. You will walk in and check in. So Danielle, I'm here. Can you mark me here in the system? Sure, I've got you marked arrived. Thanks. Once you get checked in, if there's people in front of you, you'll either see them in the waiting area or they could be behind the doors getting sprayed. So just be patient. You should be right up. And then once you're ready, they'll call you back and we'll go take a look in the room. Okay, so once we are in the room, I've got a couple of things I'm going to go over. First off, we have these sticky feet. These have two little adhesives on them, and they stick to the bottom of your feet once you're ready to go in the room. They protect the bottoms of your feet from getting spray tanned because obviously your feet don't tan underneath the bottoms of them. So then next we have the hairnet. I always wear this just because it protects my blonde hair. They do have the disposable panties. You are allowed to go topless, and I would say nine out of 10 women do. Personally, I don't care for tan lines, but if that's something that you are more self-conscious about, or you just, you know, I people have tanned in everything from a t-shirt to, you know, obviously going topless. Bottoms are required though, so you can wear these, or you can wear your own panties. There is a face mask um, for those, I think more women wear these who are pregnant. I personally don't wear that, don't feel like you have to. Makeup wipes to make sure that all of your makeup is off before you go in. And then over here, you will have the barrier cream. The barrier cream is for the backs of your elbows and the back part of where like your ankle foot is. Those are the two driest parts of your body. So you wanna make sure to get those moisturized so that you don't get weird patchy tan lines. Also, if you have like white toenail polish or your toes are not polished, I recommend putting that on there. So, I'm gonna go get ready, basically do all of that, do my little spiel, and then most importantly, you want to flip this light switch before you go into the room. The light switch tells them out there that you're ready. They have like a secret light back there, so make sure you do that, because if you don't flip it, number one, you're standing in a dark room, and number two, they don't know that you're ready. So we'll give you a little preview in here. This is the tanning room, I should say air tan room. And there's their solution. They've got a couple of solutions I'll go over after this. Um, I usually do the organic plus or the regular solution. All right guys, so up close and personal, I've got my hair net on and I'm about ready to flip the light switch and go hop in there. I'll see you in a second. All right guys, I am air tanned. You can see that I'm in my comfy clothes. It's really important to protect your spray tan on your way home with clothes that you know are typically darker colored. Um, if you do get any type of spray tan on your clothes, it does wash out. I typically tend to choose a higher t-shirt so that when I'm in the car, I don't get any like lines from my seatbelt. Um, and one of the best parts I think is that you can get dressed immediately. Like you don't have to sit here and feel like you're dripping wet like any of the other ones and you're just good to go. Also, if it's raining, make sure that you wear pants. Don't wear shorts because you will flip the water up and get it all over the back of your legs and you don't want speckled legs, that's for sure. So got my shoes over here and we're gonna go head on out and get checked out. So I went with a three. They have it on a scale from one to five. One is super, super, super light. I've actually never had a one in my life. I would recommend like if you're feeling a little nervous about it or if you're very, very pale, I would start with a two. A two is like a nice, barely sun-kissed, just adds a little bit of a color. Three for me is like a very healthy glow. Four is when I'm like getting ready for a vacation. And five is definitely dark. Um, one thing I love about air tan is the fact that if I'm feeling a little bit more like self-conscious about an area, like I like to have my legs 
a little extra tan. So especially if I'm gonna be like wearing shorts or skirts in the summertime. So you can ask them to actually go over your legs again. Um, just talk to your technician about it. I, you know, I'll do that I think every now and then and it's just easier because you're not in a booth. You can control exactly, you know, hey, do I want a little extra color on my face or not? Um, I went with the Organic Plus solution. They have three different solutions. There's the regular solution, which is my ride or die. I've been using it for over 10 years. Then the, there is the Organic and the Organic Plus. I'm gonna show you guys what the difference is between the two. So you can see the Organic one has aloe vera, green tea, hemp seed, um, caramel in it. And then the Organic Plus has the extra peptides, the caffeine, um, witch hazel, Moroccan oil, the rosehip oil. So basically, um, extremely hydrating and it's really great for anti-aging. So um, if you have been to Airtan before, I recommend trying these out if you're looking to switch it up a little bit or if you're a first timer as well, obviously the solutions are all amazing. Organic Plus is usually my go-to. All right, when you get all checked out, they do have a lot of products. I have tried all of them. This is their face brush. I love it because it stays on longer than your normal bronzer would, and it really helps blend um, your face and neck when those may start to fade. Your face and your hands are the first to fade because you are washing them more. The exfoliator I live and die by. This is the only thing that has truly gotten me air tan ready where I can completely scrub all of my air tan off which is so important to come in with a clean slate. Imagine it basically like painting your nails. If you try to paint over color that's on your nails you're gonna see it underneath it's not gonna look totally flat like it just doesn't look as good as if you go in with completely clean nails. So think the same about air tan. So then behind it this little cute little oven mitt looking thing is our exfoliator mitt. It is a godsend and then you guys if you watch me on Instagram you'll I've shown my little face spray tutorial I'll probably put that on YouTube as well it's another great thing to combat your face fading and then this is the extender with the bronzers inside I use that when I go on vacation and I'm dipping in and out of water a lot it really helps keep the tan going so all the prices are listed here and then you do get um, a discount if you are an unlimited member. Unlimited member, I highly recommend if you're going more than like two or three times a month, it's 110% worth it. So I'm just getting checked out now. I'm about to leave a tip for Danielle. You can tip your technicians, which I highly recommend. It is a service, so think of it as, you know, if you got your nails done or your hair done, you tip them. So I definitely am a huge proponent of making sure that my girls are taken care of. So I'm gonna get filled out. My entire appointment only took about 15 minutes, so it's really quick. I love that I can schedule online because I am extremely type A and love to know that I can get in, get out. You can drop in, but typically most people do schedule, so I highly recommend getting on their calendar. You can download the Mind Body app, which I will link below, or you can go onto their website and get signed up there or call them too. It's really easy, so I will link that below. All right, guys, good morning. I am freshly air tanned. My hair always looks a little bit lighter when I've got some more color on my face, so I will take that. I wanted to show you real quick the tan line that you get when you have like the little, um, I always wear like the little disposable undies because that's the like least amount of tan line that you'll receive. So I just wanted to give you a quick look. This is what I can show you. You can see the color I used to be and the color I am now, so I definitely got a lot of color. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what happens once you get your spray tan wet. This is totally normal. This is just the bronzing agent washing off. So I'm gonna put my leg under here. And you can see a little bit of the bronzing agent coming off. You see that going down the drain? Totally normal. I usually get in the shower and just rinse off, rinse that off, and get a little soap going too. Okay, so in order to pat dry, when you get out of the shower, you take your towel and you just kind of go like this and literally pat your arm, pat your body, your leg, everything. That way you avoid smearing your air tan and you can make sure that you're all dry. And then after that, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. I always put on lotion 
it doesn't matter what kind of lotion it can be you know the dollar store lotion it can be whatever you prefer to use it's really important to keep your air tan moisturized and hydrated you need to do this after every single shower to make your air tan last so keep your skin nice and hydrated all right guys that's it it's that easy i really hope you enjoy coming along with me on my air tan journey i'm going to go over my top 10 tips for you guys again on how to have the perfect air tan so make sure you're taking notes or open up your phone open up a little notepad and start typing away first tip make sure that you shower before your air tan second tip when you are in that shower, make sure that you are completely exfoliating to allow for the best possible base for the air tan. Number three, prior to your appointment, either pack clothes to change into or come wearing the proper garments. Make sure to wear like loose fitting clothes, no spaghetti straps, no leggings. Um, I usually come like wearing like slides or sneakers, something to protect your tan, especially if it's raining. You wanna make sure to grab like an umbrella or a poncho. Um, rain will affect your air tan, so make sure to keep it nice and dry. Number four, make an appointment. Air tan is always busy, but especially busy on Thursdays and Fridays with people getting ready to be all nice and bronze for the weekend. With that being said, um, it can be really hard to get in if you are a walk-in, so just pick up the phone or make sure to download the app to book yourself an appointment. Number five, after you book yourself that appointment, make sure that you can get there on time. Each appointment runs about 15 minutes, and if you are late, um, you might miss your appointment entirely. If you're more than five minutes late, they typically will start with the next person. Um, if you are running insanely late, like we're talking like 10, 15 minutes late, call them and see if you can get a later time slot. They will not hold up the rest of everyone else in line, as they shouldn't. That's why it's an appointment. So just be really, really, really aware of your timing. And if you're going during rush hour, leave with an extra 10, 20 minutes. I mean, worst case scenario, you get there early, you get to check out their magazines in the lobby and eat their delicious candy that they always have. Number six, talk to your technician and trust your technician. These girls know exactly what they're doing. Number seven, make sure to use the barrier cream in the room before your air tan. Number eight, make sure that you wait six to eight hours before showering after your air tan that means no exercising no swimming don't get wet don't do anything that is going to let your air tan not develop to its full capabilities they'll get a little darker after the initial spray but um it's all part of the process it's typically just the bronzing agent you know coming into its own and then you guys saw when i got in the shower how a little bit of the bronzer washed off it's totally normal that's not your spray tan just going down the drain it's part of the process number nine tip your air tan girls please take care of them they work really hard um they you know for me anyone who makes me feel better about myself whether it's my hair girl my nail girl my eyelash girl you know, make sure that you, it's a service, so make sure that you are tipping them. You can tip them however much you want. That is totally up to you and it's completely optional. I highly recommend it. And number 10, have fun with it. Guys, it's an air tan. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to make you feel good. It's meant to make you be confident. It is not something that you should like be worried about or stressed about or anything. It's here to enhance what you already have going on so i hope you guys enjoyed this please 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 comment below like this video and subscribe to see more about my life indie eating shows god knows what i'm gonna put on here next so enjoy guys have a good one bye